Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max. Season 1. Alright, whack the rats. Look Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Note, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Okay, we actually, you have to do this and you have to hit 20 of these rats. Let's give this a shot. I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? I, I... Now have fun. I think it... How can we not? Nope, it's shoot the orange ones. Well, I've already blown this game. I got 14. Keep shooting like that, and you'll never make it in the mafia. Not that there's any mafia here. Oh, we came up empty. That's okay. It's like Mom used to say. Blowing away rats is its own reward. A wise woman. Fair enough. All right, so we've got to hit a bunch Let's of play again. orange rats. Oh, 18. I think there might again, again. only have been 20 in that play. I don't know how many I missed, Let's but play again. it doesn't have a huge margin of error. My Wiimote badly needs to be calibrated, by the way. Or something. That's the excuse I'm using. It's the controller. Again, again. Yeah, we're gonna have to play again, Max. Thank you. Let's play again. There we go. Awesome. School guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize. Oh, you will, Sam. As advertised, you will. it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. All right. So we got the magnet. It's in our inventory. There it is. We're gonna need it. Now I want to talk to Leonard here. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How do you play Indian poker? How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. Right? You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? <laughs> you know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. <laughs> make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. Then we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Okay. Let's play. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair.
He's looking at something. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you could win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Ah, uh, we'll bet. We'd be fools not to. Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Stick Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time. But it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a sturdy oak and staff to really do the job. <laughs> Alright. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> Grr. Grr. Alright. Actually, wait a minute. I kind of want to... For a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. I want to ask him this. Does the carpet match the drapes? No. It's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. <laughs> nice. All right. So... We'll be back. Just remember to bring your money. Okay, so uh, if you notice, he was looking at something. What he's looking at, it's a little hard to see. But it's the, it's this. It's the nose of the stupid clown. So what you want to do is we want to take this ace of spades, toss it up there. Because then he'll think he has an ace, even when he doesn't. Wow, it sticks. See? We could see his reflection. It's awesome. All right. And now it'll give him a losing Back hand. For a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Deal. All right. Okay. It looks like he has an ace, but it, it, it's that's just the standard like animation for the card. He's got a 4, I believe. I'm betting all 10 million, and you only got to bet one. So, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Huh. Sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. See? What? I, you, you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, stick charmer. Mama. Why weren't you watching over me? <laughs> I'm ruined. <laughs> Aw. Let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. Fair enough. Okay, so there's not a lot else we could do. Uh, we could play the one-armed bandit. A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bear's. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. <laughs> All right. That being said, now this guy will not let us in here without a password. Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs. Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. <laughs> hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. Alright. We'll be back. Like I care. <laughs> I like that too. There's like, like I care. Alright, so, by uh, playing this... Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, let's go get the listening device, because that's how we're going to find out the password. And we can buy it with 10 million tokens. The argument for that is reasonably specious, but that's fine. Because it's not really money, it's fake money. Like we said earlier. But, uh, yeah, well, whatever. Whatever gets me what I need. <laughs> Logically. Now this is the thing, like a thing Bosco couldn't have invented. Oh, 
We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the sacred stench of St. Gainsbourg, these are not American dollars. No, but there are ten million of them. Fair hmm. enough. Well, the prizes at teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisely. Yes. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. <laughs> Drop me in enemy territory, and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up. <laughs> He's so proud. I will repeat every word. Every word. We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a numb boy. You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! <laughs> <laughs> and that's not all. I seen him kill Larvae. Larvae! <laughs> so yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I love how into the speech Bosco was. That's fantastic. Cause like that's the kind of thing Bosco would be really into. And I by the way, I really like Bosco, I should say that. Like I love the whole paranoid everybody's after me like you don't know the real truth kind of thing that's fantastic in fact they didn't use that enough in the whole alien photograph thing from last episode his reaction to that photo in fact maybe we should have showed it to him and i just didn't ah uh, whatever I, you know what if that turns out to be something really funny maybe i'll go through it again we we will have time for like bonus videos and stuff i mean it's not this is not going to be an incredibly long game do we have new Sybil stuff? I'm hoping she'll... No. What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. All right. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. Okay, Sybil. So, there's nothing really left for us to do, except go back to the casino. This actually is going to be, this is one of the simpler episodes. So, there's Where not a lot to Sam? do. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. It's also, Goody! this is also a, uh, a thing that we, um, this one you actually might be able to figure out by yourself. So, uh, back at the casino. Oh, we have to deal with Lovey Bear again. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Play Land and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. All right. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Okay, uh, when we come back, everybody, more of this. Bye.